Hello, hello, hello. I know there's a lot of noise in the background, but it's very cold. It's like 30 some degrees in Texas right now, so the heater is on and deep frost is on. Okay, um, I actually took a couple of days and I watched the the entire documentary of the Aaron Hernandez story. Um, first of all, I also want to say too that I have children that are in sports. So I watched this with a lot of different viewpoints I guess I can say from as far as a mother um, a sports mom I just looked at it okay but anyway let's start from the beginning we're not gonna of course I'm just gonna give my commentary um, I feel like they really tried to paint a picture of Aaron Hernandez it started from the very beginning from him being in uh, PB football um, the people that influenced his life like his dad you know, they really made a really big point of saying that is you know his dad was real old school um didn't really see things um <sighs> he just was really old school how he saw life in general okay um in, in, the, in the age of we are in 2020 he, he would not like a lot of things that are done anyway um it's like aaron hernandez um, he had um, a troubling childhood with his parents because his dad was abusive to his mom and It just seemed like there was there was some struggle there him and his brother kind of had to survive But he flourished when it came to playing sports You know he did track but he you know was at his The star power I guess you want to say when he threw the football He was very good at it Watching the old tapes, he just always was talented. He was always talented. Um, early on, when he was younger, one of his uh, childhood friends uh, told a story about him, how him and him. The way he told it, he said a lot of school girls were paying attention to us. Um, me and him kind of had like a a little one-on-one -on -one action. If I can say it like that together that was his best friend so to continue on that was just a little bit about him being a growing up being a football player having a you know a traumatizing childhood um, there was even some talk about uh, somebody who was influenced in his life uh, touched him inappropriately you know when he was younger um, now, the story about the Odell, the reason why I really was watching it, the documentary about, you know, the football player that he was convicted for killing. Wait, not Odell, I'm sorry, I'm saying his name incorrectly. I, um, I didn't watch the story when it first came out. That's really why I actually wanted to get into it. That's really why I set, I took my time um, and just really watched it. I work a lot, so like I'm talking about breaks, lunches. I just really got into the storyline. The way he did it was very cold, you know. Even when he got the you know the football player that he you know killed knew something was wrong. He was texting his sister. Guess what? I'm with the NFL just seemed cryptic in his messages like I'm letting you know where I am or who I'm with just in case something happens to me that's the way I took the message honestly um, it just seemed like he thought something was going to happen to him and he was a uh, I don't know he didn't feel comfortable I, I feel like he did not feel comfortable okay um, and, 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 I, and I don't know if Aaron thought that he was some kind of gangster and, and another other thing that's being thrown around is the fact that he may have been closeted or you know bisexual and because the way men are treated when they come out and say they're bisexual or that they're gay um, and you know of course he's being he's a football player that he was afraid that, that was going to taint his career or people didn't want to deal would not be able to handle if they found that truth out about him so a lot of people said he was angry because of that 
and you know they, there was an accusation that he killed two of the brothers but getting back to this the, the one that he was convicted for he was convicted he was removed he was reconvicted they said he was dating his sister and, and you know I really actually have never watching this documentary I still do not know the reason why this man was shot in his neck. He was shot in his arm. He, he was shot. It, it was horrible. They go riding. The camera shows them going riding somewhere. Okay. Then they go to this secluded area where it's dark and no one is there. Like nobody. Like I think the guy that was talking about it said a perfect place for a murder. Which is sad to say that. Because there literally was nobody there. And around it all. You know. Um. And, and a, I think a young man that was running the next day actually found his body. They found his body in dirt and just, you know, it, it was just, it's, and watching the mother, how she reacted to it was just really hard because it's like her child was found in such a horrible way. And he wasn't killed because he had did anything wrong. It just seemed like he was killed. Now, the rumor that was, you know, going around in the streets, I guess, saying that he caught him in a compromising position. And that's why he had him killed. Or he killed him. And of course, uh, Aaron Hernandez were blaming the other two guys that were with him that day. And the other two guys that were with him that day, they know way more than what they're saying. You know, there's so much behind this. With the rumors of him being bisexual and them him, them people try to keep it away and stuff like that. You know, people will do people will do anything to keep their secrets. They really will do anything to keep their secrets, even if that means kill somebody because they don't want anybody to know or tarnish their image or whatever the reasons that they may have. Now, it, it was just a really sad moment because this man had a career ahead of him. He had a life ahead of him. Um, I sometimes wonder, did he kill him because he was happy and he wasn't. Aaron Hernandez, to me, did not seem like he was a happy person. You know, you have the pictures, of course, with smiles and stuff like that. But especially when you hear him on the phone, the jail conversations with his family and his fiance, he just did not seem happy to me he, he just seemed like he was in a bad place and sometimes people who are in a bad place or who are unhappy are really unhappy if they see someone else in a good place or happy and it seems like the football player that he killed was happy with his life and everything maybe he looked at him like you're so happy with your life and look at my life I mean of course we're not in his head so we don't know but these are just my, this is my commentary. This is just my opinion about it. It really is. This young man did not have to die. He did not have to die. I just, you know, I, it's, it, the story is very confusing because it's like nobody has any details about anything. Nobody really knows anything. It's like, how can nobody not know anything? And I mean his family. Or did they know things and just buried it? He had to have a lot of behavior, act, act, you know, that when he was younger that showed that this was a possibility, that this could happen. I don't know. Maybe they just, some people don't want to believe what people show them every day. Because it may ruin their own image, their life. To actually admit that maybe their child or something is wrong with them. That might be a reflection of having to say, well, something wrong with my nephew or something wrong with my kid, and maybe something's wrong with me. So I'm just going to brush it under the rug and act like nothing is actually going on. Now, there's a legend that there's two more killings that was done with two brothers, but he was not convicted of that. And it also seemed like his daughter was his world. Now, even though he had a fiance, the fiance even says she had no idea about these allegations of uh, may maybe you're not being gay or, or like the 
be with other men or whatever. There was even a rumor about a pen pal in jail. And sometimes these rumors, rumors are rumors. People are gonna make rumors no matter what you do, especially if you are in social media, if you're a celebrity or whatever. They're gonna talk and make up narratives that they want to do. I have learned that from social media, period. Even being on YouTube, that's just what it is. Now, there, the other killing of the two brothers were he was at a club and supposedly somebody spilled the drink on him. And he, you know, shot the two guys. It seemed kind of far-fetched, even though not far-fetched, because he did kill somebody and there really wasn't a reason behind it. But the reason why I thought they got thrown out of thrown out is because the person that was involved with the case was a criminal. And the lawyer that represented him um, pretty much was like, you know, you gonna believe this guy who looks like this and he's a gangster and you're not gonna believe this, you know. Now, the first trial, he showed no emotion. And that man got like life or whatever but the second trial when they said not guilty he was very emotional now I don't know if he was emotional because for one he was saying I wish this lawyer would, re would have represented me the first time but the first trial if he was emotional because he thought this is it I would not be seeing my daughter again You know, I don't, I don't know. He, he got very emotional, or, or, or maybe he knew he was going to, you know, I want to maybe end it. I don't know. But and the reason why I say end it because unfortunately, this man actually took his own life. He actually hung himself in jail. Two days before he hung himself in jail, there was a report on the radio. Which I thought was very, very distasteful. The radio was speaking about him and being with another man. And I'm pretty sure he heard about it. Because people are in jail, they watch TV, they see the news and everything like that. And uh, two days later, he hung himself. I don't know. What it's, people don't realize outing somebody else or, or, or what, they're, what they do, that was wrong. That was wrong. I really do believe that was wrong. So yes, I do think that what was said on the radio pushed him over the edge. Now, some people are saying maybe it wasn't the radio at all. Maybe after he got, some people are saying that there was a there was a trial that happened a long time ago with a case where a preacher had done some things and he had got killed in the jail because he got killed in the jail. Uh, there was this law where he pretty much all his conviction and everything was overturned. He didn't, you know, because he was no, he wasn't able to be in the trial because he was, you know, dead. So maybe he thought he thought that if he would have done killed himself, his wife and his baby would have been taken care of for life because the NFL would have paid them or uh, whatever. And actually, that's what happened. Not the NFL part. What ended up happening is once he killed himself uh, in the court, they overturned everything. But uh, the mother of the child that was, well, I call him a child because that's her child. But the football player that he actually killed, she went to court and she fought for that. Then they convicted him again. So the conviction actually ended up staying at the end of the day. Um, I really feel bad for the fiance, the brother, you know. It's like everyone that was in his life spoke about him and was so shocked about everything. When everything came out, when the radio came out and said about him being, you know, messing with being with other men, like the whole world was just like, what? You know, his family, his friends, the ones who didn't know, um, was, you know, they could not believe, they could not believe it. Except for the childhood friend that he actually had been with when they were younger. He was the only one that actually was like, okay, because he had actually been with him sexually when they was a, uh, playing football together. So I'm pretty sure more than just him knew about this. But I do thought the radio station was really was wrong. But you you know, with social media, they're going to put out what they want to put out about you. Period. They're going to put out, especially with something that's going to make a storyline. So... His mind, they actually broke his brain down and dissected it and said he had something that made him behave this way.